Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make this very delicious, yummy, fantastic catfish. It is grilled and you are going to love it. If you want to see how I make it, keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get more recipes from me. First of all, I'll be making this delicious marinade for the fish. I have some scotch bonnet aka atarodo. This one is very very hot so I'm using just maybe one or two. I also have spring onions. I love 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 the aroma of spring onions and then the flavor as well especially in fishes. And then we have our ginger. I feel like ginger goes very well with fish and it goes with a lot of dishes but for this recipe use it. And then we have two types of onion here. So we have the red onion which like I always say it's purple in my opinion and then we have the white onion so the red or purple onion has more flavor but the white onion tends to be sweeter and I talked about this in my catfish stew video if you've not seen that video make sure you check it out so the white one tends to be sweeter and then the red one has deeper flavors so we are also going to use garlic if you are not a fan of garlic hmm, try again because garlic is really good for you and then we have our green bell peppers remember what I said about male peppers and female ones so who can tell me is this pepper a male pepper or a female pepper let I me know I also have some section. carrots here I like the sweetness that it can bring to a dish and that's what I'm looking for in this recipe I also have some blended tomato tatashe mix so this is tomato tatashe onion and pepper mix that I always have we're going to use it as well so basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting all the ingredients into little bits so that it will be easier to blend because it has to come into a paste there are so many ways to make marinades for your fish or your meat or your chicken but this is the one I'm using for fish I have another marinade that is in my other fish video that video has over 1 million views so if you've not seen that recipe you guys go and check it out it's a tilapia fish video and it has another marinade there so if you want to try that out you can but for this one this is what we're using cutting it into little pieces so we can easily blend. Now I'm going to transfer everything to a processor and just blend. It doesn't have to be smooth. I want it to actually be a rough blend so that it has texture. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to heat up a pan and add some vegetable oil. We're going to fry this paste and frying it, you know, brings out a different kind of flavor. You can put it like that on the fish. It will taste differently than when you fry it. So this is just another step to make it more delicious. I'm also going to add the tomato tatashe onion blend from that I mentioned earlier and then we're just going to put that in and mix everything it's going to give it a vibrant red color that I like to season I'm going to add some curry powder I'm also going to add some dried thyme I'll add some smoked paprika because I like the deep color I'll add some salt and then we're just going to add some seasoning and then just mix everything together. 
fry it for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it tastes good to you and you usually know your stew is ready when the oil floats to the top and the you know the paste starts to stick to itself become clumpy that's how you know and then you also taste like i said Next, I'm going to clean the catfish and I'm using some lime, some salt, some hot water. If you want to see how to clean catfish, because catfish is very slimy, if you've never used it before, it is very, very slimy and has a lot of, you know, just slime on its body. So you have to clean it properly, which is why it is always good to make your own catfish at home. Some people do not clean it properly and you don't know what you're eating. So eat homemade food <laughs> more often so i'm going to show a video on how to clean it later on but next we're going to season this catfish to season i'm using just like fish seasoning and some salt and basically even if all you have is salt that's enough i'm going to mix everything together and we are just going to use it on this fish the first thing we're going to do is to cut the fish these marks are necessary because the skin of the fish is very tough and you need the spices, the seasoning to penetrate. So this is an avenue for you to, you know, insert the seasoning into the fish. So that's why we're making those marks. And then it makes it easier to cook as well. So I'm just going to rub the salt mixture all around the fish. Just give it a nice massage. Next, I'm going to add some of the marinade and just use a brush to distribute it evenly so all around the body, inside. You don't want to eat fish that is not properly seasoned. This sauce is very delicious so you want to make sure you give that fish a good coating, put it inside the cuts, put it everywhere inside outside of that fish. There's so many types of fish I enjoy cooking and eating. <laughs> and so many ways to make fish in case you've not really given it a trial maybe you don't have a lot of fish recipes i have some that you could use i have some on my channel and i also have some in my cookbook well cookbooks actually because i have two cookbooks they are digital books all you need to do is go to the description box and download the copy you will see the link there for both cookbooks i also have full timetable that gives you ideas on meals you can plan for your family so get those from the description box the cookbooks are filled with recipes that you would really really enjoy to add more flavor to this fish, I'm going to add the spring onions. I'm going to put it in the gut of the fish. Sometimes you can use green bell pepper because that adds flavor as well. Any flavor you're looking to get, you can put it in. Sometimes I like to use rosemary, fresh rosemary or fresh thyme. It depends on the flavor you're going for. And I'm just going to wrap the fish in the foil. For another flavor option, you can use soya. You guys know I love soya so much. <laughs> so I had two fish and I had to season the second one with some soya powder. Just, you know, marinate the fish with this soya um, pepper. And then we add more of that delicious sauce. So the soya pepper gives it a lot of color and the flavors will be different from the first one, but will be a bit similar, but will have the distinct taste of soya so you can you know season your fish anyhow you like if you do not like catfish you can use any other type of fish and still use the same seasoning i used in this video you can just mix it up and do for like you know snapper you can do it for tilapia you can do it for croaker so it depends on the type of fish you like you can even do it for chicken so this marinade is not just for fish you can use it for anything 
For this one, I'm going to put some onion in the gut because onion goes very well with soya, if you know, and then we're just going to wrap it up. You can transfer this to the fridge to allow to marinate for a while, or you can start grilling it right away, which I'll show you how I did it. If you've watched the video up to this point, please click the like button. It helps out my channel, lets me know what kind of recipes to create. And if you're not subscribed, please click that subscribe button. I would love you to join the family. Now I've just placed it on the grill. You can see that the heat is not too much. If you don't have this, you can put it in the oven or you can air fry it. But this is what I have and I wanted it to have, you know, that authentic smoky flavor. And this is why I'm using the grill. It takes about an hour, 30 minutes on each side if the heat is low as this. But if the heat is too much, it will cook faster. I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't get burnt so make sure be mindful of that this is what it looks like after about 40 minutes you can see it is steaming nicely properly and it smells so good this recipe is so good to enjoy by yourself <laughs> like just lock yourself <laughs> in the room and enjoy it or you can have it for guests make it for guests they will be blown away especially by the presentation if you present it nicely maybe serve it rice or chips or anything corn it will be absolutely yummy if you try this recipe let me know tag me on social media leave me a lovely comment it encourages me thank you for watching today's video i hope you enjoy it like i said don't forget to click the like button turn on bell notifications so that whenever I upload you get the notification immediately I'll see you guys in my next video bye